Inglewood artist Frosty the Snowman, aka Snow Gerb, allegedly hit up and another person no longer here. Let's get into it, man. Make sure you hit that like, share, and subscribe button. Now it's being reported that the Inglewood artist is in stable condition now. He was in critical yesterday. Now, social media outlets have been reporting on this since yesterday. I didn't need actually have any direct details of the information uh shout out to la hood media who posted this on their instagram uh this is allegedly is the car and the uh actual paramedics working on one of the individuals uh and they're saying that you know this actually took place on the border of la and inglewood now according to uh cbs la the incident took place around 4 p.m near the intersection of la brea and Centinella Avenue. Now, if you're from the LA area, if you're from Inglewood, you know exactly where this is at. Now, it says officers arrived and they found both victims suffering from getting hit up. Paramedics transported both of them to the hospital. Uh, it says the people that actually did this fled the scene. You have people in the comment section saying this is false information. Woo, 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 blah, 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 whatever. But as I said, if you go to CBS, uh, CBS has the actual sky cam up, and this is what they had to say. At this hour, this time in Inglewood, where police are investigating a double shooting. Desmond Shaw in Sky 2, live overhead with more. Des? Yeah, Pat, we're here at La Brea near Sentinella, where the shooting took place. Looks like it's Inglewood PD and LAPD uh, investigating this right on the border of LA and Inglewood. Uh, there was a, a shooting here. Two people sent to the hospital in critical condition off to a, a local trauma center, and you see this car that crashed. Looks like it's involved in the crash. It's unclear if the people inside were shot or if that's a suspect vehicle. We don't have any information about a, a suspect being in custody, but two people uh, had to be transported to the hospital. Pretty serious shooting here with uh, La Brea shut down. Pat, back to you now in the studio. All right, thank you, Dad. All right, so there you have that information. I don't know what the people in the comment section is talking about, but like I said, a lot of people have been saying that this incident did take place. A lot of people were reporting that Snow Gerd was no longer with us. But apparently he's still here. Now, we do know that he's somebody on the Internet who a lot of people have. Let's just say he's had a share of run ins with other artists as well as, you know, he's been affiliated or associated with the the Bloods in Inglewood. So I'm not sure. I don't want to say that it's gang related, you know, because that's that's not what we're here for. That's not what we're here to do. But it's hard to lightweight turn the eye to what actually could have happened now it seems like we coming on here a lot of times like i said and we talking about a lot of artists who you know actually are in the streets who end up succumbing to these situations he recently just got out of jail uh and like i said you know the dude i don't know what y'all listen to i don't know what type of music y'all listen to if you have to like draco the ruler and stuff like that you you would be familiar with his music if not you know it is what it is uh, but like I said, he's an L.A. artist. Uh, I mean, he got a buzz out of L.A. definitely in his section, in his area, as well as in his region. So, you know, you know, it is what it is. A lot of these artists don't get out of their neighborhoods. A lot of these artists are still hanging in the areas and cities that they come from. And you got to think, being in L.A., it really there's no need for him to leave L.A. because a lot of things surrounding music takes place in la or atlanta you know what i mean so there's really no need for him to leave his area i mean we gotta move a little smarter i know um one of the 107 hoovers was actually on um instagram talking about how people from la who game bang and, and and that's rappers who on these social media with these devices man where you going live and showing your location these are the type of things that can happen we've seen what happened with the indian red boy situation we seen what happened with um, Pop Smoke when he was out in L.A. And I mean, and I'm pretty sure it's a lot of other incidents that we don't actually know about that haven't been publicized where individuals actually let people know their location based off of going live on these social media apps, man. But get in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think about this. I'm Amadi the Ruler. Make sure you hit that like, share, and subscribe and click that notification bell so you can notified each and every time I upload new content. Peace.